Hey everyone, Technomentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Lens on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, in order to first do this, you do need to download an app. So go to App Store here, and then you're going to want to search up basically Google Chrome or Chrome, Google Chrome, basically their browser. If you search up Google or the Chrome, the very first one should come up Google Chrome. And you're going to go ahead and install it. If you don't have it installed, just click on install or go ahead and update it if you need to update it as well. Now, once you have done that, you're going to go ahead and see on your iPhone, you have the app. So just simply find the app on your phone here. I have already downloaded. Now, if you don't see it on the home screen, it might be on the very last page of the app library. It's simply find it there or add it to the home screen. Now, once you have done that, go ahead and open up your Google Chrome app. Basically, it's another browser. In the lens option, we'll search up right here. You'll see here that icon here with the camera. If you click on it, that'll take you to Google Lens, and then you'll hit continue here. Now, you do have to give access to the camera, so you're gonna go into your settings or allow access, and make sure the camera access is allowed. And then once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and click it again one more time. And now we can start using the Google Lens here. So I have something here. And if I wanted to see that with the lens, click on it. And it will begin the process to search that. And you can see here, you can adjust the settings. And that's how you can search something, whether it's an image, a text, or if you want to translate something, you'll be able to do it right off the bat, right like that. So that's how you can use Google Lens on your iPhone. Just download the Google Chrome app or the Google app, and then the browser will give you the option to use the Google Lens option. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.